क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंप्योरिटीज दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन वाटर वाटर इन इट्स एनी फॉर्म विल हैव इंप्योरिटीज इन इट वेदर इट इज फ्रॉम रिवर्स सीज स्प्रिंग्स और इवन द नेचुरल वाटर वी गेट फ्रॉम रेन लेट अस सी ऑल द डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ इंप्योरिटीज दैट वाटर पोजेसेस there are many kinds of impurities which are already present in water we have defined and characterized all these impurities into four forms the first one is suspended impurities second is dissolved impurities third is colloidal impurities and fourth is biological impurities let's start with the suspended impurities suspended impurities are those impurities which are present in water we can see that those impurities are present in water with our naked eyes but which are very difficult to remove For example, all the mud, clay, algae, which is already present in water. Imagine a tank full of muddy water. The only way we can think of filtering that is through a filter paper. So, if we put the muddy water through a filter paper, the amount of mud present on the filter paper will be zero because the mud is mixed with the water and it will flow through the filter paper and get into the water. So, these types of impurities are present in the water but are very difficult to remove. they change the turbidity of the water what do we mean by turbidity turbidity is exactly opposite of transparency through turbid water we cannot see through the water it becomes muddy and marshy it also changes the order of the color is basically the smell of the color the color of the water also changes so these impurities are the impurities which are a little difficult to remove the second type are the dissolved impurities dissolved impurities are the impurities which we cannot see at all imagine pure water and then you just dissolve salt in it or you just dissolve a spoonful of sugar in it after the salt or the sugar is completely dissolved in it by only looking at the water we cannot come to know whether there is some kind of impurity like salt or sugar in it to remove an impurity it is important to know that the impurity is present in it and dissolved impurities are the one which we cannot see through our naked eyes so for that we need to know that such impurities are present there are two kinds of dissolved impurities the first are gas impurities now what are gas impurities rain water is one of the freshest form of water so when rain falls from the clouds to the earth's crust it passes through the atmosphere and atmosphere contains a lot of pollution what is this pollution pollution are different gases present in the atmosphere all these gases mix with water and that kind of water forms rain this rain is also termed as acid rain acid rain because all the types of gases impurities and all the chemicals which are present in the earth's atmosphere mix with rain and they fall down the second type of dissolved impurity are the mineral salts all the water that we get from rivers or springs are actually flowing through rocks and mountains these rocks and mountains have calcium magnesium sulfates carbonates and bicarbonates present in them and since the water is cutting through those rocks all of them get dissolved in that water that is another kind of dissolved impurity the third type of impurity are the colloidal impurities what are colloidal impurities colloidal impurities are the impurities which form due to colloidal particles colloidal particles are extremely tiny particles of 10 raised to minus 5 to 10 raised to minus 7 in diameter these particles have certain charge in them so let's imagine a tank of water containing colloidal particles in it these colloidal particles half of them will have positive charge and half of them will have negative charge because of these charges the colloidal particles will either keep on attracting or repelling from each other and because of that they will never settle down on the surface of the tank for colloidal particles it may take years and years to settle down and some of the particles will never settle at all so there is no way of filtering or sedimenting colloidal particles when we use coagulants to settle down the colloidal particles these colloidal particles also change the turbidity color and the order of water the last type of impurity are the biological impurities biological impurities contain algae the growth of slime all the different kinds of microorganisms all the different kinds of bacteria and living organisms which grow in water most of the bacteria around 95% of the bacteria which are growing in water are harmless to humans but 5% of bacteria are harmful and because of these bacteria if we drink that water we get diseases like typhoid cholera dysentery etc 
it is very important to filter out all the biological impurities from the water before it is portable or given to humans for any kind of use. So in this video, we learn all the different types of impurities, which were suspended impurities, dissolved impurities, colloidal impurities, and biological impurities. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.